Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be wear testing a blush. This is a blush from Manakadar Beauty. This is the Paradise Blush made in China, distributed from Manakadar Beauty based out of California. There is a look at the ingredients and this is a three gram pot which I believe is full size. This retails for $19 and on the website, I couldn't find a listed product amount that you get, but judging from the PR shots of the compact, it looks like it's about this size. I got this in a Luxe box I opened up, which you can check out up here, which is like a seasonal beauty box from Top Box. You can check out that video up here if you wanna learn more about that. The packaging itself is just kind of a really cheap feeling plastic. It is a really nice size if you travel a lot because it's super slim. But that being said, it is incredibly hard to open up. So it's a little bit annoying to be constantly opening and closing. It feels like it could really easily snap off and fall apart. I think it's pretty cheap packaging for a $20 blush. The blush itself is described as a vivid cherry blossom pink powder that will add a beautiful glow to your face. Swatch the color is quite pretty. I would say it's a little bit more peachy or tangerine-y than it is necessarily cherry blossom. And you can see on my finger, it does add quite a bit of a nice glow. I've already got my face on and powdered, so I'm just gonna be applying my blush and we're testing this for the next 12 hours. All right, and that is what it looks like applied. Obviously, it always looks a little more subtle than I'd like on camera than it does in real life but you can see it does add a nice glow and it just kind of warms up your skin in a really pink, nice way. I think it's a really flattering, like warm, pinky, peachy tone on really fair skin like I have, where sometimes I have a little bit of trouble having a like pigment show up at all on my skin. So it's really nice, it's pretty buildable. You can definitely go overboard. It blends out very nicely. I think it's really convenient to have a blush and highlight in one step, kind of no fuss out the door makeup. So yeah, let's go check this out under natural light and then we'll see if it can last a full 12 hour day. Let's go. Okay, it's the end of the night and the blush is still showing up, still has a really nice glow. So overall, I'm gonna say this was a really nice blush. It showed up well on my skin tone. It added a nice glow and it was a really pretty color. It's super easy to apply, it blends out well. I will mention that I was wearing my Revlon Colorstay foundation today, which is always a good one. Again, my major complaint is just the packaging. I'm sure the packaging will fall apart before I ever hit pan. And for $19, I think that it could be a little bit more nice. This is something that I would expect like on a wet and wild product or something that's only a couple bucks. A little bit disappointed in the packaging, but aside from that, pretty nice blush. This is the first time I've ever tried anything from Mana Kadar, so if you have any experience with the brand or any product recommendations, definitely leave a comment down below. I think overall I'm gonna give this blush, let's say a three and a half out of five. I don't think I'm gonna repurchase just because it does look like it is a US brand, so it might be a bit trickier to buy here in Canada, or I might have to pay extra for shipping, so. Fortunately, it's just too small of a brand for me to easily get my hands on. It was really interesting to try this out. Again, I got this in a Luxe box, so you can check out my Luxe box openings here. And if you're Canadian, that be, might be something that you're interested in looking into. And I think that's pretty much all I have to say. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give this a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Let me know what else you'd like to see. Make sure you comment, like, share, subscribe. Follow me on social medias. Check me out on Patreon. And check back tomorrow for my next beauty video. Bye.